ratio. Zach works in a hairdressing salon. He's going to mix some hair lightener. Zach needs to mix one part hair lightener to two parts of developer. He has 45 milliliters of hair lightener. So the important thing here first is to notice which order it goes in. So hair lightener becomes first. Hair lightener. And then developer becomes second in the ratio. Developer. It states that the ratio is one part hair lightener to two parts developer. So that becomes your ratio. Now, it states that he has 45 milliliters of hair lightener. So if he's got 45 milliliters of hair lightener, and he needs to find out how much developer he needs. Now, one way to look at ratio when it's a simple ratio like one to two is, what would you have to multiply one by to get to 45? And the answer would be to multiply it by 45. One multiplied by 45 equals 45. Now, on the developer side, you still need to multiply by the same number. So you would multiply two by 45. Now, depending on which way you do multiplication, whether it's the grid method or the tower method. So in this case, I'm going to do 45 multiplied by two. So two multiplied by five gives me 10. So I'll put a zero here and a one underneath to carry over. Then two multiplied by four equals eight. Plus the one gives me 90. So 90. Now, to check that you're correct, you could always re-simplify the 45 to 90 to check whether it ends up as the ratio of one to two. So if I divide 45 by five, I get nine. And if I divide 90 by five, I'd get 18. Now go again, I've divided both by five. And then what number goes into both nine and 18? Well, nine goes into both. So if I divide nine by nine, I get the answer one. And 18 divided by nine, give me answer two. So that's your check to make sure I've done it correctly. Now to make sure the answer is correct, how many milliliters of developer does that need? Well, he needs 90 milliliters of developer. In this question, Alex and Ben have been given a total amount of money so the same again, Alex and Ben have been given a total amount of money of £240. So altogether, they're going to get £240. And the way the ratio says is that Alex will get five parts and Ben will get seven parts. So an easy way to represent that is if you draw underneath and put your five parts for Alex in these seven parts for Ben. Now, writing it like this way, what you would need to do is you'd have to do 240 divided by how many parts is in the ratio? Five plus seven equals 12. So 240 divided by 12 will give you one part in the ratio. So 240 divided by 12 12's going to 2, no, so we'll put a little cross there and carry the 2 over. 12's going to 24, twice, remained in nothing, so you just bring the 0 up to here. So one part equals 20 pounds. Now, it asks how much Ben received, but what's worthwhile doing at this minute is to do both parts of the ratio to check that it'll add up to 240. So Alex gets 5 multiplied by 20 which gives him 100 pounds and Ben does 7 multiplied by 20 which gives him 140 pounds now these two should add up to the amount of money you get to that too. so if we add those both up 140 plus 100 equals 2 so answer the question, Ben 
received £140. Now, those two are quite simple. Now, sometimes the ratio questions can get a bit more involved, or sometimes people aren't on sure how to go. But in this case, the same process. In year 8, the ratio of girls to boys is 1 to 3. Girls to boys is 1 to 3. So, how many students is there all together? There's 300 students all together. So, same process. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, there's 4 parts all together. So, you do 300 divided by 4. 4 is going to 3. No, put a little cross. Put your 3 there. 3 is into 4. So, you can just list your 4 times table to do this if you want. 4, 8, 12, 16... 20, 24, 28, 32. So we know at this point we've gone past it. So how many fours? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remainder 2. How many fours in 20? Well, if we've done this way, it's easy to figure out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So one part equals 75 students. So for girls, we do 1 multiplied by 75 for the girls, and for the boys, you do 3 multiplied by 75. That will give you 75 here, and 225 here. Add those together equals 300. So, the question asks, how many girls were in year 8? Girls is 75. So, girls is 75 and that's your answer now, this last question we're going to try together is a bit more difficult but if you get your hands around it and think about it clearly it's quite easy this is more than one part question the first part starts with Anne and Bob shared money in a ratio of 3 to 5 but then after that Anne's going to give some of her money to Colin and Bob's going to give some of her money to Colin as well but if we start with this part first and think of this as the first part of the question so part one, same again, Anne and Bob, £240. In the ratio of three, five. So, so 240 divided by all the parts in the ratio, which is eight, will give you £30. So for Anne, you do 3 multiplied by 30 to give £90. And for Bob, you would do 5 multiplied by 30, which will give you £150. Now, so Anne's got £90 and Bob has £150. Now, I'll just move the question up a little bit. It states that Anne gave half her money to Bob. So to find half, you would divide by 2, which would give £45. So Colin would get £45 off Anne. And then Bob, it says that Bob gives a tenth. So to find a tenth, which is 1 over 10, you would do 150 divided by... 10. Tens don't go into 1, but they go into 15 once, with 5 left over. 10 goes into 55 times, so 1 tenth equals 15 pounds. So that's another 15 pounds to Colin now. So Colin altogether, 5 plus 5 equals 10, put the 1 down there. 4 plus 1 equals 5, plus 1 equals 6. So Colin's got 60 pounds. But we've got to be careful here. It says what fraction of the £250 that Con received. So the fraction is £60 out of £240. Now, in this case, it doesn't say in its simplest form. But it's always worthwhile to do this. Now, people have got different methods of doing this. I always like to remove a zero off the top and the bottom if you can. Which is 6 over 24. Then, depending on which your time table is, you know, I know that half of 6 is 3 and half of 24 is 12, 
Then how many threes go into three? That will give you one. How many threes go into 12? That's four. So the answer to the question, what fraction of the 240 pounds did Colin receive? Either of these answers will give you it, but it's always worth simplifying because a lot of times it'll state an exam simplifier for you. Now, those four ways of doing ratios. Now what you'll find next is there's four questions for you to have an attempt of. Thank you for listening.